All right, Helldivers, we've got a bunch of new information streaming in from HQ because this group from Arrowhead loves to bring it from all angles. There's a new patch with some pretty significant changes, several separate updates concerning long-running issues, and Johan, Arrowhead's CEO, is drumming up merch support over on Twitter. Welcome back to the channel, it's Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer, and on top of these items, we've also got a new daily order, and we also need to check in on Deathmaster Joel's mental major order and see what progress we've made over there. But before we get into it all, thanks again for your incredible levels of support. In case you haven't done so already, make sure to hit subscribe and ring the notifications bell to receive my future upload alerts. And here we go with the latest in Helldivers. As always, chapters are available for a smooth viewing experience. And let's start off today with the latest daily order which should be pretty easy considering our major order, and it is to kill eight bile spewers. And ever since the last balance patch to reduce charger and bile titan spawns, bile spewers, aka spitters, have multiplied significantly, and you should have no problem knocking this one out for today. The major order is proving out to be not such an easy task, and checking in on that front shows us that we've taken a Stanu and have now moved on to Fori Prime. Now, I recorded this kind of early in the morning EST, but there are currently only 61,000 active Helldivers on FP, and if we're going to knock out this absolutely mental major order, we need something like five times that many boots on the ground to even have a shot at this one. I think what has happened here is that we have the perfect storm in terms of requirements and timing that are all working against us. It's midweek, so we don't have the optimal number of divers available like we would on the weekend, and the progress for this one just shows us that fact. I know I'm going to be doing my part for democracy, but let me know where you stand on this major order in the comments. Has Joel lost his flip in mind? Is five planets in three days way too much? Are we meant to fail this one conspiracy theory, which would open up another part of the storyline? I look forward to reading all those theories, so sound off. Next up is the latest studio adjustments coming to the game in the form of another balance patch. 1.000.103 went live early this morning, and I didn't grab a screenshot of it as it downloaded, but the overall file size was actually kind of small. I'd say something around 350 megs, which took just a few seconds to download. So the size of the patch was small, but in this one are some key changes and fixes to the game, including the exosuits, which have been bugged ever since they launched, planetary hazards, and patrol spawns, and I really hope they've sorted that one out because having an entire patrol just spawn out of thin air directly on top of you was just soul crushing. So first up are the planetary hazards, which by the way, I love to see in the game. I mean, talk about immersive. They are awesome, but I've also personally had a problem just seeing the meteor strike zones and I commented on this in a previous upload and I received so many responses in the comment section about how I was wrong and that those auras on the ground where the meteors will strike have always been in the game. And by the way, I would not have commented on that if I could have seen them. And for me and my regular squad mates on PC, up until this last patch, we honestly could not see them, like at all. So it was down to guessing where they were going to land and we would just look up at the sky and we took a lot of accidental deaths. Anyways, they've tweaked the spawn rates of the tremors, meteor showers, volcanic activity, which was crazy when that one activated, fire tornadoes, and yes, those ion storms. And by the way, I've been in random matchmaker rounds where someone dies during the middle of an ion storm and they just start spamming the respawn reminder, becoming increasingly annoyed that nobody has called them back in, which you can't because of the freaking ion storm and how it disrupts all stratagem call -ins. So please, Stop spamming the respawn reminder. We know you died, you want back in. Let's just let the ion storm subside and then we can get that one handled. 
They've reduced the explosion radiuses, meteor damage, and meteor velocity, and also changed the meteor color to make it easier to spot. Volcanic activity has also had its spawn rates reduced, along with reduced explosion radiuses, which was insanely huge prior to this update, along with reducing the rock velocity itself. Lighting on Fenrir 3 has also been adjusted to be a bit less bright, Thank you, Arrowhead. My retinas really appreciate that. And overall, this should make the meteors more visible when they happen over on Fenrir 3. Overall, yeah, it's good to see some of these hazard changes. Although one thing I don't see mentioned here is the desync between the actual meteor strikes and the damage inflicted because I've died seconds before that actual strike occurs. And I think that one could use a bit of tweaking. So if anyone at Arrowhead ever sees this video, please, and thank you. Anyways, next up are the biggies because the incidence of patrols spawning in on players has been reduced. Thank you, Lord. Breaches and dropships, I think we can all deal with. Taking on an objective or fighting back a horde and then all of a sudden, poof, 20 enemies appear out of thin air. And I mean, they literally just drop down out of the sky straight on top of you and surround you is something we could all do without. And I will be testing this one out a little later today. Also, the dreaded mech destruction while turning and firing a rocket has also been fixed along with retaining the mech suit's melee functions even when damaged. And in case you didn't know, you can tap melee and the mech will do this stomping motion to squish smaller targets, although you can just walk over them as well. But great to see both of these fixes, especially that rage-inducing one-shot rocket death while turning in the mech. We've also got a bunch of crash fixes listed out here, which yes, crashes have been an ongoing issue ever since the game launched. But the one I love to see is when using Alt-Tab, which on PC, I do a lot. Anyways, it's now been fixed. They also just list out something called PS5 boot issues, no details. There's also something here about when joining an ongoing mission and even crashing while idle on the title screen. It's never good when you're just crashing off the title screen. Shots from arc-based weapons will now record shots fired and shots landed. They fixed an issue with the automaton dropships causing network desync. Man, that's wild to think how that actually happened, and even wilder to think about how Arrowhead solved that one. And finally, Elgato Stream Deck foot pedal support has been fixed for anyone wanting to use their dance moves while calling in stratagems. There's also a ton of, yeah, we know about these, but currently don't have a fix for them issues here as well, with the bulk of them centered on the broken friends list. Hellpot steering has been identified as a bug when we get too close to big objects and how it would just disable. Hmm, I thought this was a nerf last patch, but here it's been announced as an actual game coding issue. And finally, very interesting to finally know the culprit was the vitality booster that was causing us to somehow stay alive but dead when drowning in deep water. And I still don't know how the galaxy's finest did not receive aquatics training and boot camp. Anyways, this whole thing kind of required another helldiver to finish us off so that we can then respawn. Yeah, they know about that one and are currently working on it. Next up, we've got a couple of quick individual updates coming to us over on the Helldiver Discord, the first of which is from Twinbeard, giving us good and bad news at the same time on the friends list issue. The good news is that they are working on the issue and it is a priority. The bad news is that there is still no fix for this one. Now, the idea here is that all communication is better than just getting the silent treatment, even when there's nothing really to say or even bad news to deliver, which I know we can all agree with 100%. Just keep us in the loop, give it to us straight. That's the best way to spread democracy amongst the player base, and it is greatly appreciated. The second of these updates was from Spitz, again over on the official Discord, concerning individual ticket resolutions for players that have been stuck at certain difficulty levels, unable to progress to higher tiers. Anyways, yesterday, Arrowhead pushed through over 1.3 million manual progression requests, and it caused some issues within the system, causing a backup and leading to issues with things like store purchases and overall account features. Smaller batches of these progression updates will be pushed through over the next few days to try to avoid the overloading issues, and they hope to have it all sorted very soon. 
And finally, who wants some official Helldivers merch, such as a mouse pad or even a full-blown gaming chair? Johan tweeted about this one this morning, saying it would be dope to do some democratic gaming gear for Helldivers, maybe something with SteelSeries or Secret Lab chairs, to which Secret Lab actually responded with a Helldiver clip, which is really cool to see. And so this may be a thing. It may be coming to retailers in the future. How about that one? I personally use Steel Series products. No sponsorship here, by the way, just me spending my own money and I like their stuff. Secret Lab chairs are interesting. And how would you feel about a black and yellow Helldivers themed gaming chair sitting in your command center? All right, that's all we've got time for today, but a lot of changes hitting the live game along with a matching number of fixes. And overall, let me know how you're feeling about our chances of knocking out this mental major order. Remember to hit subscribe and ring the notifications bell to receive my upload alerts. All my socials can be found in the video description. Also, check down there as well for an open invite link to my Discord server where we have an up-and-coming Helldiver community, and I know you're going to like taking advantage of the Looking for Group and free voice channels. Thanks again to the now over 210,000 of you that have stuck with me, and until the next one, this is Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer, signing off.